Hi guys, today guess what we're making? We're going to do mash links cubes. Now we've already done one, two, ten, and then I think we did eleven to fifteen. So now we're going to do 16 to 20. Now, at the time of making this video, 16 to 20 have not officially been made yet. So we'll have to design our own and when they officially come out on the CBB's channel, we'll make them again. So can you guess which ones these are? So let's get started. I've got some cubes over here in the box. Some of these are still to put together from our previous shapes. So we'll have to take this apart and let's start making with number 16. So let's start with number 16. And because six is of course that purpley color, we have the blocks here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what configuration shall we put this in? I think I'm going to do it like this. So 10 of the blocks are going to be white because that's what the uh, 11 to 15 look like. They have 10 blocks and then the colored blocks depending on which number we're making. If that makes sense, does that make sense? I think we can do it like this and this configuration was designed by my six-year-old little super toys universe who has been helping me with these designs so they look great because of him um so this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to do it like this and with max mass links cubes you guys can probably remember there's only one side that clicks so you have to pick the side that you think will make it the most secure you see there's only this side the rest of them are empty so i'm going to do it this way because i think this will fit the best think anyway. So this would be our number 16 because we've got 10 of the white and the 6 and here is the face we made. Now as with our other pages we will make this available for you guys to download from our website and then you can use them and make your own at home if you like. Uh, so I hope you enjoy those. And remember there's mathings but you can use other cubes as well. Not everyone has mathings cubes. You can use wooden blocks or different ones like that. So this is pre-made so it's easier to do than just do the face and it looks like this and this would fit on perfectly here like that but you could also put the white bricks on that side or you could do them all on one side. It's totally up to you how you want to design it and I'm not actually sure where is my blue tack? I need my blue tack. Aha perfect. I'll see in here. This actually this is white tack and it's a bit dirty but never mind. So I'm using this because it means that we can remove uh, the face we want to in the future but you can use um, other types of sticky putty or you can use sticky pads because I think you could remove those as well up to you because of course with the math links cubes we want to be able to move them around and design them again push those down and of course because it's a printable you can put them again if they do get destroyed or break Ta-da! there's number 16 Next up, we're going to do number 17. And we're going to do the seven here, which is multicolored. And then we've got the red and the orange. Now, I'm just thinking, if you're sticking the faces on this, you don't actually need to do the colors underneath because the, the paper will cover it anyway. So don't worry if you don't have the right colors in. And we've got the yellow and then followed by green. It's up to you which order you want to put this in. Like this too. And then it's like a light blue but we only have a dark blue because the math links cubes don't come in that many colors. And then there's the purple. Now there's usually a more of an indigo-y violet, but we don't have that. So I have to use purple twice and I've decided to do it in this configuration. And that matches the one we've got here to cut out. So let's cut this out. So remember to be careful when you're using sharp scissors to cut things out or ask for the help of a grown up if you need that. Do do that, do 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 that, do do that, do do that, do 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 that. Fucking nonsense. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got 17. But let's put the bricks around this. So we need to do 10 again, and the 10 is in white. So how should we do this? Uh okay, let's build it from the side then. Whoops, a daisy. So one, two. I should have thought this, I have thought of this beforehand, but of course they're mathing so you can move them around. Uh, one, two, let's do three, four. Shall we fill this space here? I quite like it though. Four. How about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Let's do it around the edges, okay? So one at the bottom here, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
And then you could do eight, nine. Or we could put it at the base or we could put it at the top. So what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna put it at the base so it doesn't look strange. Or you know what we could do? We could take one off the top here. Oops, it's easy. Like this, and we could do it like this as well. So it's entirely up to you. And this would also be 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And there's our face, which I'm gonna stick here like this. So how do you guys think the number blocks will design these? They're, obviously they're going to look different to how we've done them. But this is a, a just a guess how they may look. And we have an idea because we know what 11 to 15 looks like now. Let's do this. Do the blue tack and then... And there you go, that's how I've decided to do number 17. Now to do 18, I need pink. I do have these pink ones. I have no idea where they've gone. I think somebody's hidden number block eight that we made a while ago. So I'm going to use purples and pinks because they're kind of close in color. And again, it's a long shape, this one. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Sticking, I don't want to stick, three, four. But no one's going to see the pink anyway, but I think I might need to order a new pack of muffins cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and you can buy these in a pack of 100. I linked to them. I got mine from Amazon and you get 100. It's about 10 pounds and you get 10 of each color. So that's quite a good start. Pack. And then I'm going to cut this out. Here we go. So again, we have got all the choice in the world how to do this one. And shall we make it look a bit different? How can we make it look different? Now we've got another 10 to do. Let's build a bit of height and see what happens. So if we do one, two. We could make this one quite tall, couldn't we? What do you think? Three, four. Let's build some on the side as well. Five, looks like a rocket. Five, whoops, lost a brick. Six, seven, no one's nearby <laughs> to help me pick it up. Seven, eight, we've got two more. How should we do this? Eight, do two here. Oh, we could do two here. Is that a funny shape? That's a funny shape, right? That's okay, because like I said, with math things, we can always move them around. And then I'm going to blue tack, white tack, whatever color tack here. One, two, three, four. You can pull these out, you know, the holes, but <laughs> probably make sure you clean them out every now and again. The math is cute, so they do get a bit sticky. Ta da! Does it look a bit crazy? Well, it is 18. This is my uh, MathLinks number block 18. And now it's time to do 19. Now they don't do gray MathLinks cubes, so we're just going to use white ones. Um, and I've been playing around, I'm trying to think what, how we should do this. Um, 19, so I'm thinking if we do steps, one, two, three, and then it goes to four, and then one, two, three, four. Now the thing is 19 will not go, will not make a even step count, okay? just doesn't but we can still make it look kind of interesting so if I do this and I do one and the two and the three and the four and then we're left with a spare four so we could have two fours like this side by side and it might be useful if I split it like this perhaps like this okay and then we would take our nine, which is here. Looking very, very cheerful. Okay. And then we could have this face over in the corner. We could have it here. 
sticker in the middle, we'll put a sticker at the end. What do you think? I think it looks good. Maybe here. I might move some of the bricks around actually. So let's take this. Stick in the corners. One, two, three, four. Like this. Now see, now I'm thinking, should I keep these ones here or should I put them around number nine a bit more? It might be what I oh, do actually. Like this, this looks pretty good. And that is 19 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's okay, I'm missing a block. I can't believe this. Okay, so what what now what do I do? Now where should I I know? Let's put it here. Okay, there you go. It's huge, it's number block 19. Finally we're going to do number block one two, which is gonna be white, isn't it? With a little bit of red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get more 11 I'm just building this as we go and see where we end up 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 19. Oh, it's a perfect square actually. 20. 20. That's 20 cubes. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. And the face is not 10, but it doesn't need to be because um, obviously there's a bit of red around the eyes because that's what uh, number block 10 has. Nice square ish, rectangular. And I think we just stick that in the middle and look pretty good. This old blue tack, white tack in here. So just clean it off a little bit. And then. On all the sides. Like so. And then we'll do stick it down like this. And there you go, there's number block 20. So there you go guys, there's the finished math and cubes from 16 to 20. So we've got 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.